Hey everybody, it's question time. Can a guitar stand improve your guitar playing experience? Let's find out. In this box is a bulldog guitar stand. And they've sent this to me to see if I think that spending so much money on a guitar stand, yes, it is expensive, is worth it. Um, let's unbox it, have a look, and, and you can tell me. In this box is the Dragon One guitar stand from, from Bulldog Stands, and it's made of Amazuki, which I think is the correct way to, to pronounce it. And um, we're gonna find out just how sexy it is. That's that box done with. As you can tell by the way I picked it up, it's extremely light. The reveal, wow. That is a stunning piece of wood. That looks like a like a Klingon weapon. <laughs> um, wah, that well-known Klingon phrase. Um, okay, so that's obviously the the standy up part. It's um it's quite oily. Hmm. I don't know why I smell things instantly. Let's crack open the next part and. Uh, this must have all the, the bits and bobs in it. Instructions! Bulldog music gear. Score. Um, congratulations, you've just purchased a nice instrument stand from Bulldog music gear. Heck yes. Um, important notice. Okay, I'll, I'll read that later. We've got some packing stuff. We've got that. That is the thing you hang a guitar on. That is, is that, that must be aluminium, but with like a steel core. Let's have a look. Let's see if I can break it without actually uh, putting this tent together. Yeah, that's very clearly aluminium. Very nicely machined aluminium. Aluminum. Pop that to the side. We've got some, some felt washers. Okay, some more poppies. Some screws. And here comes the base. Don't drop the base. Now, if that's not Klingon, then I don't know what is. Look at that lovely Bulldog logo there. That is, above all, a beautiful piece of wood. However, it looks really functional. One of my main concerns, having looked at that, is the... Um, the swing of the guitar, you know, can you, how far can you push it before it falls over? So that's beautifully machined. Let's look at that. That's wonderfully cut. Nice little indiscreet logo. You know, it's not plastered in uh, product placement. And then we've got, what have we got? We've got some rubbery feet things like you find on a, on a pedal and then the screws that attach the base to the upright piece. I'm gonna put that together for you and we're gonna find out what it looks like set up. I'm placing that now on the floor, but on, can you see that down there? On the padding that it came, came in. So that's, that's uh, safely protected. That's it, you can see now. I'm gonna do this, what I call dad tight minus one. My dad is very famous for over tightening things like this and it's, it's not quite tight enough and we'll tighten it a bit more. And um, that's not what my dad sounds like. He breaks stuff. So I'm doing it dad minus one, which is hard to do because I always think, you know, one more tighten. That's about it. Not to the point where I think it's gonna break. The wood did make a little sort of creaking noise like, as the, the wood's being pressed in. But that is as tight as it should be. I mentioned at the beginning that this is quite expensive, and it is, however, it's really beautifully made. Um, that is beautifully made, and it, it's not cheap, it doesn't feel cheap in any way, it doesn't feel as if you've paid for a name or something and they've just thrown together some pieces. This is a quality item, I'm, I'm genuinely impressed. Uh, you can also turn that and then move these this way. So if you've got a, say, a Telecaster, Telecaster might need that sort of distance. But if you've got like a big old, I don't know, big old acoustic, 
then you might need that sort of distance. Fully adjustable and quick to do. That's impressive. I thought this part would be difficult because of the camera angle and how big this stand is. This is not a small stand. Um, and then this is the hanger part. And it says not to have it at the inclination of 15 degrees, which would be that. Can you see there? So that's pointing straight. If I hold that straight, this part here is now pointing down, meaning that when I put it in there, it's going to be pointing up by five degrees. Oh, should have gone to the gym more often. Or whatever. There, that's in. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. I feel it needs another one here. So I'm going to put one there. And now you're saying, hey, Andy, you've got one left. What are you going to do with that? Let me show you. Over here, we put it on this ball. Somewhere, somehow. Like that. And now it acts as a bumper in case the guitar ever goes so far in that it hits that aluminium. So you've got a little rubbery kind of safety bumper. That's a nice, uh, nice addition. So I'm happy that it holds the acoustic guitar, my pride and joy acoustic guitar, nicely. I've got two kids under five and I would trust this stand and that guitar around my kids. I wouldn't actually trust my kids around the guitar at the moment because they would just take it off and play it. Um, but that's my parenting, not down to the stand. I know what you're thinking, yes it holds an acoustic guitar, yes it looks great and it keeps it safe, but does it hold a heavier guitar? What about a bass? So there it is with the Maybach Leicester and the push tests went extremely well. I had the same results as with the Taylor. I pushed it, I didn't kick it of course, but I, I did give it a little bit of force, something that you might get by pushing past it and it dealt well and kept the guitar safe. Top marks. As you can see here with the P bass, the headstock is not symmetrical like it is on a Les Paul or acoustic style guitar. Um, so you have to twist this part just a little bit and it does twist enough. There we go. So if you put it in straight, it tends to fall a little bit. So you need to ha hand adjust that like so. And the stand does adjust to how it should be for that style of guitar. I wanted to try also with a Telecaster because that's got a really thin headstock on it. Let's do that. There, that is, that is good. That's holding that in nicely. That's not going to go anywhere, which can't always be said for uh, these Hercules stands that I've got behind me. They, um, they need a little, bit of, a little bit of work. A stand like this is not for everybody, so it's not for someone who just wants to put the guitar on a stand and have it safe. There are other stands for that. You can have something like this. This is one of the stands I use live. It's uh, a Millennium stand from Toman, and it does the job. It's cheap, uh, it's light, and it's small. It does hold the guitar. It doesn't hold it that safely. Of course, there's nothing stopping it tipping up if you hit it from the top. But for a gigging sort of setup, it's acceptable. If safety is the main concern, then this is my favorite stand for safety and protection of a guitar. Uh, it's got a locking holder there, so when you put the guitar in, the weight brings these two little forks up, which keeps the guitar from going forward. It's got three legs on it, which means it's nice and stable. It packs down nicely, so it's giggable. Um, and it is a little bit more expensive than, of course, the Millennium stand, but it is very, very safe. So back to the Bulldog stand. Is it for you? Only you can decide, but it is not 
just a functional guitar piece of equipment. It is a, a beauty stand. It's something to display maybe your favorite guitar or the guitar that you want to have in the living room that otherwise you wouldn't be able to because of the decor. So thankfully, they do come in various different finishes to fit uh, whatever place you're putting it in, so whatever your furniture looks like. It is not something that you want to be gigging because that's nuts. You don't be walking around holding this or going on a train or putting this in the back of your car. It'll get destroyed pretty quickly. It's not designed for that. However, if you're running like an arts community concert or uh, a music school or something like that, then that that is quite the... Or you're a luthier and you, you want to put guitars in your shop or something and, and display them beautifully. That is the kind of stand that I would like to hold my guitar if I was really showing off. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you have a guitar that's worthy of such a stand or are you happy to stick with your cheap cheapo or that intermediate but safe Hercules style design? Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna go off now and take some arty photos of guitars in the sunshine. You don't have to go anywhere, of course. There are other videos on my channel. In fact, there is one floating around your screen right now. Also floating around the screen is a subscribe button. And if you click it, you'll be part of the very exclusive Guitar Geek Club. I'm Andy, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.